morning, Vic Tammy. May I help you? Yes, please. Is there anybody who can give me some information on, uh, I'd like to join up immediately for a course. Oh, just one moment. Thank you. Hello. Help you, yes, I'd like to join up. Uh, can I talk to one of the instructors, please? Well, this is Ladies' Day, and we have the instructresses here. But uh, actually, you talk to a manager. You wouldn't talk to an instructor. Is there a man, anybody, a manager? Or? Yes, there is. Uh-huh. Thank you. Hello, may I help you? Are you the manager? Yes, sir. Well, I thought there's a man there. Is there any? Well, well I'll tell you what it is, actually. Uh, I'm a salesman, or a manager, actually, of Mandel Shoe Shop. Uh huh. And I've been getting a bad time from a uh, fellow down the street who has a dress shop, and he punched me today, and I'm just steamed, and I'd like to take one of your courses. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, well, it's no joke. I'm very nasal, and I just had a bloody nose. Oh, for him? I feel a little better talking to a man, you know, because I just am so god mad I'll break his ass if I see him. For and I'm not I, I, where are you da down here on Wilshire on Mandel's? Well, I'd rather not uh, go into particulars, but I'd like to start right now, and uh, I'd like to straighten him out. For I'm him? at my doctor's office now, as a matter of fact. No, okay. Well, if there is a man here, he's downstairs right now. If you'd like, why don't you come in when you finish with the doctor? Well, no, well, let me see. I'd rather talk to him because the doctor won't ask him. I can't take too many, uh, too, it can't, I can't be too physical. The doctor wants to uh, talk to him about, you know, whether I should take too strenuous exercises. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, uh, you, you have something wrong with you, sir, I mean, physically? or No, no, I weigh 97 pounds. I'm all right. You weigh 97 pounds? That's right. Yeah, you're a little bit trim. Well, I'm, I'm only 6'1". Really? Yeah. You're so light, huh? Yeah. What has caused this? Pardon? What what caused that? Being so uh, being so light. I don't know. They all make jokes like I look like uh, dental floss with sleeves, or you know, all oh, those kind of things. Uh, I mean, well, you're not kidding me, are you? Are, are you? First of all, sir, what we do, we always put you on a program card, and it's all individual instruction. And well, we'll all I know is I want to kick the shit out of this fella. That's why I wanted to talk to man. I don't want to use this language to you, but I've got some bone to pick. Well, I'll tell you. Come on down. And, um, look, I talk to men all the time. There'll be a man here anyhow. Yeah. But I'll, I mean, believe me, we can Could work out a Could you do something with, for me? Sure we can. Definitely. Because I'm only 60, and I mean, I'm not too old. And of course not. Look, that's we, right. We will never give you heavy exercises. Not for a long time. I want to know, can I fight them? I mean, you know, I don't exercise. I want to know if I can get in shape in a well, month. Look, look, I'll tell you, working out, you get, uh, your, as far as your strength, it improves tremendously. That's right. I just want to lose a few pounds so I'm in good shape. You want to lose a few pounds? Well, my best fighting weight, I imagine, would be about 85 pounds. Are you kidding? You are being funny now. I'm not being funny at all. If you'd like to talk to my doctor, you may. 85 pounds and you're 6'1". Gee, that is... Well, that's why my doctor wanted to talk to a man. See, he can explain to you better. I have a condition which I can't talk about. Oh, I see. See, I was in the war. Yeah. And, uh, well, I'd rather not talk about it. Well, look, I'll tell you what, why don't you come on down and I'll have a man explain everything to you, show you what type of program they'd put you on and everything. Yeah, I want to, you know, like those guys at the beach and the things, I saw your ads a few times and yeah. and uh, that's what I think. But do you well, think that you got a good chance for me in this? Well, definitely. Yeah. I mean, people come in with you. Well, suppose you walked into Mandel's now and I saw him, could I say, all right, get your hands up? Would I be in shape for that in a month or two? Huh? Oh, in a month or two? Well, you'd be in a heck of a lot better shape. Yeah. Sure you what will. if I lose the fight? Do I get a refund from you or what? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I want to win. <laughs> we'll get you to win. Don't worry. We'll get you to win. Okay, sweetheart. What is your name so I'll know? Seti. S-E-T-T-I-E. Seti Edwards. Seti Edwards? Uh -huh. Is there S-E-T-T-Y? I-E. I.E. My doctor may call you back right away. All right, fine. Sonny Edwards, and he'll ask for you. He'll tell you about my condition. All right. Let but do you have a man there? Is the man there? Can you have him so my doctor can talk to the man? Yeah, well, look, are you downstairs right now? You want me to bring him up? Bring him up, and doctor, I you know, have him here right now. Dr. Okay, Roth. Hold the line a second. I'll put Dr. Roth okay, on. Okay, hold the line. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Would you hold on just one second? I'm going to cut you off for a minute and get the downstairs. Uh, wonderful, sweetie. Okay. You're dim. <laughs> okay, like, hold the line. You're dim. Well, I just talked to Fred. He's downstairs, but he's in the pool. Oh, yeah, and well... he's showing a swimming instruction. Look, he'll be here later on. Do you want to stop in, or I can talk to the doctor. Well, I tell you, I'll put him on right now, see, because I'm very nasal now, and my nose, I got cotton up there to oh, stop the bleeding. Well, that's one of those things that shit really really kicked me. Excuse me. Dr. Roth. Hello. Hello, sir. Uh, this is Dr. Roth. Who's this? How do you do? My name is Seti Edwards. Oh, Miss Edwards, uh... 
Well, I take it you spoke to uh, the gentleman. Yeah. Uh, he's very overwrought, and he has a condition that... Uh, get that other phone, would you? Know? Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, he has a condition that's uh, unfortunate. It's a glandular condition. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. And, of course, my recommendation immediately was uh, therapy, exercises, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, we do have several people in uh, with this problem, and uh, we find that exercise does definitely help him. He said he weighed 97 pounds and he's 6'1". That's right. He, uh, he was in the war, and he uh, had the glandular condition. It was contracted from a, uh, a fetus based on the uh, jaundice germ in Korea. Mm, for heaven's sake. And the fetus prolongs itself in some manner to the marrow of the bone. Mm-hmm. And by doing this, uh, the subsequent air that's uh, polluted, of course, coming out of the uh, southern districts of the country. Mm-hmm. For heaven's sake. Well, that's very unfortunate. Therefore, the, uh, the bone tissue right now is uh, keeping its weight down. But, of course, the exercise is... Uh, I recommend it highly because oh. in this way, this uh, will create a pull on the bone and give them some strength. Exactly, and there's not probably uh, much you can do as far as the eating is concerned. Would you uh, just a moment, sure. second, so I have another patient. Sure. Just sure. hold on a second. All righty. Hello. Yes. Uh, the doctor just says talking to the patient is getting dressed, but uh, All righty. I uh, I hope you can understand my problem. Yes, I'll sure. pay any amount, whatever it is. Well, bless your heart. Well, we sure want to help I you. I just want to kill this. Um, can you imagine a thing? A man comes to my store, and I was eating a sandwich back there, and he asked me for a piece. Yeah. You know, so it was my lunch, and, uh, well, he took the whole thing and took a big bite, and I said, you're taking a very big bite? And he said, uh, no, it's not. And, you know, he started to... Uh, you know him? Well, I know him. You know, he comes in once in a while. He kids with a girl who sells pocketbooks in my store. Mm. And, uh, forgive me, he spit on me. So I rubbed my sandwich right in his face. I'm a little guy, but you know, I'm skinnier and I'm bigger, but you know, and this idiot, you know. So I, he looked and he put the sandwich on my face, you know. So uh, when I saw the mustard on my nose, I was a little steamed, you know. Imagine a man coming to my store and pushing a sandwich in my, well, here's a doctor, wait a minute. Okay, boy. Hello. Yes, doctor. Uh, Miss Edwards, I'm sorry. That's I kept all right. Go ahead. Um, this, of course, is in uh, a complete uh, overrat situation. Mm-hmm. You know, there's certainly no uh, reason for him to want to fight. Yeah, that's true. If he fought today, I couldn't guarantee his health. Uh, I think if he was hit, uh, he would he would absolutely die. No kidding. Now, uh, what is the swimming condition there? Is the uh, water t- uh, tempered? Well, it, it's the, what is the water temperature? Uh, it's about 75 or 80. I don't know. We want to talk it on the uh, it's it's what the state requires. It's yes, well, it's, it's sanit- the, the pool is sanitary. Oh, yeah, we have the, the, the city coming in all the time and checking on it. We also because have I don't know, you know, you, you're aware of the fact of what goes on in swimming pools. Oh, yeah, right, right. And we have the swimming instruction, if you'd be interested in this. Is all oh, no, he's a, he was a champion swimmer before going into the armed forces. Oh, for heaven's sake. He was with the Olympics in 1944. For heaven's sake, how marvelous. That's amazing. He was 6'1", he weighed 197 pounds. Isn't that amazing? So he lost 100 pounds. God. Well, I'm well a, as far as the exercise, Dr. Um, uh, the individual instruction. There aren't any medicine balls used. No. No, because he would fall down. No, not at all. Uh-uh. So don't worry about that. He's under individual instruction. Of as a matter of fact, I worked on him about a half hour ago. We were uh, trying the tennis ball treatment, which is just throwing the pressure against the bone. Yeah. And the tennis ball knocked him down. No kidding. So. For heaven's sakes, that, that's really unfortunate, isn't well, it? Well, he would be very, very oh. exercise, and I mean, we would start him out at the very minimum. And Well, let me get back to Ms. Edwards as soon as I talk with him. All righty. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Bye-bye. Bye now. <laughs>